Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at Disneyland. What's new? Yeah, what's new? What's happening? What's fun? Uh, most importantly though, something that kind of caught our attention is, yeah. we're gonna talk about later in this video, is Splash Mountain Haunted. There have been rumors swirling around, some incidents that have happened. And this is recent, so that's why it's included yeah. in what's new at Disneyland, because <laughs> this is a new development yeah. as, as far as we know. Maybe this, I don't know. Yeah. We're kind of reaching out and saying, if you've heard of this before, let us know. Yeah. Uh, we'll get more into detail about actually what's going on, because we have some details. Uh, but we also, you know, we gotta go enjoy the park as well, so. We do. We have uh, to look for some new merchandise. Yes. Uh, we're going to try at least one new treat today. Yeah. Hopefully get on a ride. I don't know for sure. But uh, either way, it's going to be a great day. And it's going to be made even better because if you... <laughs> Listen, it's Leo season. Oh, no. Shout out to all of my Leos out there, including this one. I feel like this is my comeuppance for Patrick Bagora. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. like this is where the revenge happens. And, and it, this... To all who celebrate, happy Leo season, uh, dare I say the best of the zodiac, the fire sign, the king of the jungle, <sighs> this is us, this is our time Leos. Oh, I will tell you, when, when I, the next time I do Patrick Bagora, it's going to be a doozy. Oh, Alright, let's get in the park. Okay, first stop Disneyland Emporium, Katie has uh, some ears that she wants to see. Yeah, there is about three pairs of new mini ears that I want to check out, so... I need to go see them in person. I haven't seen them yet. All right, so that's what you were looking for? Actually, you know, want to know what's funny is this is literally the first sign of like fall. It is, I was going to say. Yeah. It's here. This is it. Although I hear there's actually another pair of Halloween slash fall ears that we're going to look for. No. Yes. What? Two. No. Heard it here. <laughs> Breaking news. Oh my God. Okay, so um, these are really cute. I just want to give you a little like a quick Katie's ear review. 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 We have a beautiful gold bow. We have these colorful fall leaves on the ear and this gold rope adorning the ears. Everyone, I give these a 10 out of 10 and I will be purchasing these today. Major shout out to Francisco that we just ran into. We were about to walk away. I was like, I couldn't find the other ears. And he's like, I know what you're looking for. And here they are. Thanks, Francisco. Uh, Thank you. It's these, like a double bow. These are so cute. And it's time for Katie's ear review. That was my echo. Okay. okay. Now these beautiful pink ears are adorned with a double bow. You have this gorgeous pattern of sequins on the ears and this bright pink headband. I think these get a 10 out of 10 and they'll definitely be going with my collection. Okay, that was... Uh... Fun. We still have one more pair to find. Yeah, but we're going to have to do that at DCA, so we're probably... Unless we find them here, yeah, but... Yeah, we might find them here. You never know. Don't lose hope. Back to the heat. It makes me want ice cream. Yeah. Every time I'm here and it's super hot like this. Well, yeah. I want ice cream. Yeah. Okay, back out onto Main Street, and let me tell you, <laughs> it's packed today. And even though Francisco said that uh, DCA had those other ears, we're gonna check Disney Clothiers across the street just in case. And how did we do? Did we find anything? I did find. No them. way. There, there they, they are. are. And here is your another ear review. 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 Another double bow. Another double bow. In fact, uh, I really think this is the highlight, is this beautiful iridescent orange. Yeah. I think that is so pretty, especially against the black. Now I'm gonna tell you why I'm not giving these a 10 out of 10, because if you know me and you've been following me for quite some time, you know how particular I am about ear placement. And these are a little bit far to the side. I'm gonna use this purple pair of ears that have great placement as an example. You gotta make sure you line them up right. Yeah, you can you see. Can see how they're not yeah. flushed with, with each other, I guess you would say. Or further down. Yeah, which again, it's not that big of a deal. If that for you isn't something that's a deal breaker, by all means, get them because they're super cute. But for me, it's not really my thing. Who knows, maybe I'll give it a try this year. I don't know, but there they are. Hey, that's a cool shirt. Look, it's got flick on it. Oh wow, and it's funny because it almost looks like a one color, but it's not, it's a two color. And there's a bunch of characters. Look at that. That's cool, Miko. What a trip. Gus Gus. I love these. Interesting. I like the bottom 
placement. Yeah, it's nice. Now, don't worry. This is not a merch search. We're just kind of doing what we do when we come to Disneyland. And you got to check for merch early because it'll be gone, you know, maybe in an hour or so. So sometimes it's worth it to do that. Some people shop at the end of the night. But we, if we know we are looking for something, we go early. So uh, on to, we're going to go back out in the heat now. Uh, oh, so that's another reason Katie likes to shop sometimes is because it's, it's so hot. Uh, nope, we gotta go. Okay, but I did find something while we were walking through. Not something you can buy, but it's a sign. Look what I happened to find. A Leo the lion with the crown because us Leos. Oh boy. <laughs> It's not ending, and if you want to find this on the wall, we'll show you it's, kind of It's kind of right by the mugs here. Uh, this is the, uh, the China closet. Okay, I lied. I, I said it wasn't going to be a merch search, but here's more this stuff. This is one thing. We have to show this. Look okay. how cute this is. This is a brand new mug. Look at how cute this is. I haven't seen this before, but I love it. I hope they do one of these in every color. All right, we're going to take a right turn. We normally Whoa. don't go this way. Look at Buzz Lightyear. Oh, the line? Yeah, yeah the lines. Yeah, that's it's going back under the tree over there. Yeah, quick shot of the castle profile. Nice, thank you. It goes all the way back to Pixie Hollow. Wow, at least it's shaded because these folks are suffering out here. That's just a really long wait for Astro Blasters. So I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> Ooh, start towards 40. That's painful. And the old people mover track actually providing a service of shade for all these folks today. They're all <laughs> coming under the, the skinny shade. It's crazy because it's a Monday. Um, but the logic that Katie always says, which makes a lot of sense, is cheaper ticket prices. Yeah, so it's definitely cheaper. Sunday ends up being uh, usually a less crowded day. So Friday and Saturdays have not been bad. Yeah. Sunday's not too bad either, but yeah. dang, Mondays. Woo. Mondays have, have been consistently crowded for yeah. most of the year. This is definitely one of those days when you want to jump in that lagoon. It looks so inviting. Although there is a nice breeze. Uh, that's the place to be. I think just looking at it makes me feel cooler. <laughs> it's kind of too bad that there's not more mist that comes off of that. Like, you know, the waterfalls in Yosemite. Like if you were able to stand here and just get totally misted like naturally, you know. They should put misters in this park because it's like Palm Springs out here now in uh, Southern California. So put some misters in and people would be stoked. I don't know, you know, if there's a liability with slippage and stuff like that, maybe, I don't know. Things that are way above my pay grade. <laughs> All right, we came over to Galactic Grill because we were starving and um, and it's hot, so we needed shade. So we got a couple of veggie wraps. These things are really good. They're- um... Look, it's in a heart shade. Oh yeah. Cute. We got this uh, a while back and we really liked it and we thought let's get something cool, something that's not like cooked and um, yeah. this this oh, is on the... It does not sound good right now. No, I didn't even, honestly, I was starving but I didn't want to eat. That's how hot it is. Mm -hmm. I was like, can you just like hook me up to a drip and uh, give me some nutrients so I don't have to actually eat? I don't know how people are doing it without umbrellas and stuff like... Yeah, it's pretty heavy so duty. Hot. Yeah. This feels like... Um, it's just like haunt season. Yeah. <laughs> this is how hot it is usually in haunt season. Yeah. But it'll it's probably be this. Scary. It's scary. It'll probably be this way uh, all the way through now. Like this is it. So literally to the point where I'm like, we we should just go to Malibu this week. Just, like, just bail. We should comment below if you want to see beach content. I know I'm out of focus right now, but I don't think you are. I am. Out of oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah. I, that's why we have it. You know. So. I don't know, I'm, I'm weighing towards it. Let, let us know what you guys think, because we'll make a bunch of vlogs, you know, surfing. Home is where the vlog is. Yeah, that too. Yeah, you yeah. want that? If I you do. do, comment below. I'm going to comment, because I, I want that. All right, that was good. I feel better. I was, like, critical. I was, like, on the edge of <laughs> being able to survive. Uh, we're at the grapes. These guys are still doing pretty good. We'll harvest there. I know. I don't think these are, um, like I was telling you, I think they... All these vines get Anaheim disease eventually, but they look good. Well, I uh, know. Look. Oh, yeah, so maybe it's starting right there. I don't know much about it. But, I don't know either. <laughs> but I I saw one thing on it. And anyways, there you go. Did you see, by the way, that they're doing the Skyline Lounge thing still? Yeah, they're still doing it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they just, I think they share space with uh, the DVC Lounge. Daytime DVC Lounge kind of has reign of that. And then I think the other side 
uh, is also accessible for DVC Lounge. But then the DVC Lounge closes at a certain time, and then oh, at five or yeah, because yeah. it would be too cool to like go, you know, watch fireworks from up there if you yeah. were DVC. If but you were DVC, yeah. But uh, I don't think you can. All right, let's um, head over to the train. It yeah, said we'll ten minutes, and uh, sometimes it's risky to jump on at Tomorrowland. Okay, wait, is it just me or is that cotton candy look like it's like melting? Uh, it kind of does. Let's see. Look at this one. It's melted. Look yeah. at you can see the cotton it's, candy. Yeah, it's losing its density. Uh, <laughs> Look at this one. They and shrunk in the heat. Aww. Autopia, not autotopia. Big uh, misnomer on that. A lot of people still call it autotopia. I mean, it is a car attraction, so I get it, but... It's Autopia. And Autopia coming in with a full queue. Look at that. At least it's shaded. Ah, the sounds of Autopia. <laughs> Not just the engines, but the smashing of the center rail. <laughs> All right, here she comes. Birds are back, it looks like, over there. What's up, Popeye? Chomp away, buddy. Say hello to our friend Terry. Hi, Terry. Pretty much accurately uh, describes today's conditions. Yeah, that's Disneyland, yeah. That's the Esplanade right there. I think the dinosaurs are fighting over the last cooling towel. Or the fans. Imagine if the dinosaurs had neck fans. <laughs> We're at 138 feet above sea level, Katie. We're 138 ab feet above sea level. I can't even say it. We're 138 feet above sea level. The guy's talking and it's distracting me. <laughs> We're right at the hippo pool. We just heard the uh, pops. Hippo pops. Hippo pops in this. Katie, what's the name of this puma or puma? I like I like to call it a Smokey the Puma. <laughs> I like that. He also promotes uh, safety in the forest. Yeah. He's got like a sweet vest and a hat that he wears. There he is. There he is. Uh, he doesn't have his outfit on. To ensure a safe smokestacks up there. Stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the Grand Prairie Country. Oh wow! Oh whoa! That was crazy. All right. Whoa! What's jumping around over there? Oh. What is it? but the dreams of a whole new generation as it moved west into this great frontier. Our next stop is Toontown Depot, official train station for Mickey's Toontown, the cartoon right. home where Mickey, Minnie, and all hey, the I kind of see the posters. They're a little shinier. Toontown Depot is also the gateway to Fantasyland, where you'll find many of your favorite Disney animated characters and stories. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all. Fantasy land. Small World could use some misters right about there. Like when you come out of the attraction, misters mounted right at the exit, maybe. Coming out of the elephant trunk, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, big, big queue. Oh, butterfly. Hello. That was cool. All right, you know the game we play. How many cars? Got to just pick a number. Forward into the you said two. To I say four. Yeah. Two? Okay. Three. Three. Okay. And 
you were so close. Jay, oh, I, I win then five. Win the closest, closest yeah. Five Autopia cars needing some assistance. You can see the different body styles there. Yeah, no monorail still, sadly. It would be shutting down anyways because it's been too hot lately. That's what I mean. They wouldn't be able to run it. So being on the train reminded me that in a couple of days, uh, another popcorn bucket's coming out and it's the Disneyland Railroad. It's a train. Mickey's on it, I think, right? Yeah, there's a uh, train whistle. Train whistle that comes yeah. with it. We were discussing the hype of, of popcorn buckets, right? Yeah. And how we Which had- we are not immune to. We're not immune to. Yeah. Uh, trust me, we bought uh, the last one, I think we did. Yeah, we bought um, zippers. Certain ones speak to us and we get them. Yeah. Now, these things are oddly shaped and they're hard to store. So if you don't have shelf space for them or whatever, it becomes an issue. And we kind of stopped collecting unless we really want one. Yeah. Um, anyways, when those things happen on those drops, you see these long lines on that day. Uh, Disney even just made a post uh, a reel the other day, like hyping it up, right? Getting people ready so they show up. Now, Katie goes, yeah, it's basically a toy disguised as a popcorn yeah. bucket, which is totally true. Which it makes me laugh though, because if they were to just like release that toy, just and as it a was toy. just in, you know, a shop on Main Street or World of Disney, probably not a lot of people would no, get it. it but wouldn't. it's funny because it's that novelty that it's a popcorn bucket, Right. we all are like, yeah, it's which genius. is so funny. It no, cracks me up. You made that point. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, that's so genius. It's, it, yeah, if it was just a train, which they do have those, I think, yeah. no one would care. Even if you hyped it up and tried to release it like that. They might. I mean, I might. If I was shopping for toys and I saw that, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of But cool. not to the level that happens when it's popcorn no, bucket. So no. just interesting. It's uh, the novelty of the popcorn bucket. Yeah. What do you think? Comment below. Yeah. Like, knowing that information, like us, will you still get it or are you kind of like, Oh, dang. I yeah. didn't realize that. Okay, we took another lap and we got off at New Orleans Square, checking out the uh, Tiana's place. Getting a good look at it. We also got to see if there's that new um, Haunted Mansion churro. Oh, yeah. By the way, interesting. Restrooms are open during construction. The classic hand pointing, but it's Disneyland, so there's two fingers. They have them here with one finger, but now these are new and they've decided. We got to... Just, okay, and let me know... Let us know in the comments if you know why that is at Disneyland. There's a specific reason. There's also a rumor and then there's an actual reason. Yeah, it's it's kind of both of those things. Comment below. And lo and behold, look at this. We've got uh, first looks at the one of the smokestacks, the left-hand side. There it is. Pretty cool. Just to give you a reference, there's the, uh, there's the art. So that's what we're looking at. We were looking at this one right here. Uh, I don't know if this is up yet. Let's see if we can find that, or at least maybe this portion. Okay, so we can kind of see the that middle portion there, but I can't see where the sign would be. They've got that shrouded pretty well. And we've got the other smokestack, the right-hand one. You can see it when those, those spins kind of fly in the wind. You can kind of get a glimpse of it there. And look at this, they've prepped the sign. Can't see the bulbs anymore. They put a surface on it. Next is the graphic, and unless it's there and it's covered up, but that's that's definitely a new development right there. And then look at this. Katie spotted the shadow at the top of one of the stacks. It looks like the uh, Statue of Liberty or something up there. Uh, or Tiana's crown. Yeah. You're, oh yeah. I like that. It actually looks like the Mark Twain, like down there, you know. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Now while we're over here. We wanted to show you something at uh, Cafe Orleans, right? Is that where it was? Yeah. Yeah, at Cafe Orleans is the restaurant you always see people dining at right here in New Orleans Square. All right, so here's the menu, uh, this new prefix thing. For 45 bucks per guest, it comes with a choice of gumbo soup, salad, seafood, boil, uh, or entree selection. And the vanilla mousse is... It's actually the candle, um, and it actually has a candle in it. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, and then I believe it has like a praline. If it weren't so busy today, we probably would have went and tried it, but we kind of already had lunch. I'm not too hungry now. True, and it's all over the internet, so it's. I don't think you've yeah. not seen it yet. Yeah. Um, it's, <laughs> so there's, it's, there's no mystery, but it's really cool. It does look really I, I cool. Would, I would definitely try it, but, yeah. you know. Uh, I'm not a big vanilla mousse fan, but if I did like vanilla, I would get it. I'll go there. I know you. <laughs> Speaking of Haunted Mansion, uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, we um, actually need to find the Haunted Mansion churro. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, here it is. Basically strawberry, but uh, you've got fresh strawberries, you've got freeze-dried strawberries on the left, you've got purple sugar on the left as well, and then regular strawberry sugar on the other side, and then donut icing all over everything. Wow. So it's almost like this churro 
turns into that and then and it goes back and forth like it's Something April like December that. April yeah. December yeah she changes before your eyes much like these churros this is alive like you said yeah. and the freeze dried's dead because it's like it's like <laughs> I'm going with death first you going with death first okay because mm -hmm. uh, it's like we put sugar on and then we put some more, uh, sugar. more sugar in the form of icing it's cool looking I'm gonna go for the the strawberry now okay is it like you're eating strawberry fun dip or something <laughs> It's sweeter than that. It's hurting my teeth. Oh my gosh. It's sweeter than Fun Dip. It's really sweet. My tolerance for sweet has gone It's down. changed. Yeah. So I think if you can handle really sweet stuff, you would really like this. Yeah. But um, I, I think it's good. I like it and I think it looks cool. And I think, I think that's the coolest part of it is that it looks really awesome. And it's, you know, Haunted Mansion. We well, like that. If you're from the 80s, you know it's better to look good than to feel good, Katie. It's from the churro cart that's right here by Mansion. I love that you went with the old dead one. <laughs> you know what's funny? Aren't we technically a May-December relationship? Like they say when you're way older. Oh, like, probably. You have a big age gap. Probably, but we're April, remember? Oh, April, December. Oh yeah, dang it's it. It's May. May-December. I, I feel, feel like, like May-December sounds better. Well, I think that's the actual phrase. Have you ever heard that somewhere in my life? I don't like it. It's too sweet, huh? All right, taking a look at uh, the old Splash Mountain, the stump is totally gone. I imagine they're gonna take down those other scaffolds unless they're gonna put something else in its place. Cause I don't know if the boat made the cut, but uh, it's so strange to see that gone. So bizarre. All right, now we're out front so you can really see that the stump is gonzo. Other than that, looking uh, pretty much the same as the last time we saw it from this side. And the Critter Country sign is still intact. And while we're here, something pretty crazy okay so my friend sent me screenshots they are in a um a disney facebook group apparently someone's husband i think it is is uh working on the demolition of splash mountain right they're saying that it is extremely haunted tools have been like going missing and then when they find them they're in like really hard to find places and then when they're like pulling um like cable or wire or something it's like someone's pulling back the other thing is like they're having like you know small little like fires and do you think it's really haunted like that's really weird i mean it's I... I also heard that the it's unrelated to the haunting but i also heard that the boat at the end you know the last scene demolished i heard they're oh. saving animatronics but oh. you know yeah i heard that's demoed anyway but do you think it's haunted like i mean here's the thing as we know people from time to time have dumped ashes of loved ones in attractions, in attractions. especially haunted mansions well and especially ones that have uh other ones that have water because you know yeah uh, so I wonder if maybe that could be the reasoning behind Related. it because, I, you know, what else? It's been there since your childhood, but that's not really that long. But, yeah, you but know, I mean, hauntings, hauntings can happen. They can happen, you know, from recent events as opposed to like, well, it doesn't always have to be back in 1875. Right. This used to be a, a burial ground. You know, it doesn't have to be that. Yeah. Um, I just wish I could like, I don't know, have a little bit more definitive proof. Has anybody else like heard anything about yeah, I'm curious. Splash Mountain being haunted? Let us like, know. It's fascinating me. Like I have we've, been just We've heard all the other ones, like you know, the Haunted Mansion one and the Yeah, you've heard that. There's the there's a bunch of other around. ones. Like uh, we've heard all of those. The Space Mountain one. Yeah. Um But I have never heard of Splash Mountain. And no. I mean that's very specific that like tools have gone missing and then when they're like going missing they're in really hard to find places and i think the original poster who's anonymous in that group had said something to the effect of like um splash mountains not going down without a fight oh that's funny i was like oh my gosh i mean very very interesting stuff though like do you think splash mountain is haunted yeah let us know and if you've heard the before. story and we'll we'll keep our ears open when we came over in the train check out this shot of the first lift hill wow it's so weird to see it like that katie i think we should ask this guy about the haunting if he knows anything he's been here a long time he looks like he knows some things he's got that thousand yard stare uh sir have you heard anything about splash mountain being haunted uh, see the look see the look that's it he knows by the way if he goes i ride if he goes, you riot? Okay. okay. I want to buy him from the archive if they get rid of this, because this is one of those things that they would sell, you know. Now, we're over by the Haunted Mansion, and uh, as we were telling you, there's a lot of stories about this one being haunted, obviously. <laughs> kind of a no-brainer, but there's that old security footage that shows okay. 
like a figure real. walking through the gate when it's closed and it's like the, the camera's like up there somewhere looking back this way uh is that real or is that something I don't, that's edited who knows you, you really can't tell these days with anything especially now with ai too it's like what, what's real I, I don't maybe know. they're both haunted for real like maybe they both really are haunted yeah it's, it's very you know possible I mean? very possible do you believe in hauntings I thought, you were gonna do the I thought you were going to do the share song. Do you believe in hauntings at Disney? Disney, <laughs> Disney. I can see something on security footage. I feel like someone's standing next to me now. Why am I doing Michael McDonald? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. As we approach a magnolia tree, I know this now. I hear jazz music. Wow, look at all the Disneyland roses over there. Full bloom, Disneyland rose. Ours is doing really good, by the way. Oh, it is, yeah. Really it's good. blooming like crazy. A couple of people thought we brought them to the beach, but we didn't. No. We have them in our Orange County. Uh, place. I don't think they would like the beach. No, it might be just a little too it's, wet. It's too, yeah. These are so familiar to me now. I spent so much time learning about these. Look how beautiful they are. So good. Oh, they're so perfect. Yeah, we have like a cluster like that right now at home. Yes, we do. And what's that word, Katie? That, it's a floribunda. That means that they, they cluster. They're clusters. They're not like roses. single stem. Yeah. Right, and and what happened was, one of ours bloomed, and then all the petals fell off. Yep. Um, so I, I guess that's the process. Um, that's how it goes. Yeah. Look at the yellow one down here. This is what's great about this breed. Yeah, that you could get so many different uh, color variations. Like even that one's pretty like. Yeah. Pale. That we have one that kind of is a little bit more on the pale scale. True. When you look up Floribunda in the dictionary, that's what they show you right there. <laughs> there she is. It's looking good over there, Tiana. That's what we're excited about. We'll see you later. Her umbrella was really cool. I it's never noticed. Way cooler than mine. I never noticed the graphics on the top of it like that. I know. I wish um, I could look as good as her. All right, Adventureland Treehouse. No progress that's like visual that I can tell. They've got that mast sticking out again out of the out of the scrim. I wonder if they finished the uh, the bamboo bucket system yet. I don't know. Adventureland. Normally it's like really really packed in here but i'm oddly gonna say it's not super packed in here is it because we're getting close to the parade time or something maybe that's it because it's, it's like it's really bizarre that it's oh wow katie jumping in, in, in the i had to get you back jumping in on the you game i mean even look at the dual whip line look okay that. yeah the dual whip line that's that's a short line um especially for a hot day right that's so weird lots of space for activities that's for sure yeah it, i mean even in front of bengal barbecue spence wasn't recording but it was like not busy. Right. Indiana Jones says it's a 60 minute wait line. It's so weird. Some would say bizarre. Okay. Is magic happening right now? Magic is happening. All right, we came into the Candy Palace and uh, what do we got, Katie? So we have a Madame Leota Rice Krispie Treat. That's really cool. There's some blue, turquoise blue M&Ms on the back of it. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see. You kind of see him, yeah. Cinderella. I feel like this was here kind of around Mother's Day, if I'm not mistaken. Looks familiar to me, yeah. Something like that. But hey, good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Hey, look at this. Gibson Girl, super mellow, and it's really hot out. It's because of the parade, right? This is your hot tip. Get it while the parade's happening. Yeah, because look out there. It's chaos. And uh, maybe even sit there at one of those tables. They put the tables back in. Yeah, they did. It took that like right. so long to do that. Uh, I'm glad that they did. That's a great place to watch the parade. Although yes. you probably see the back of heads, but at least they, you see the tall floats. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, there's there's Maui. Look at it. And another really good tip is to shop when the parade is happening because look at yeah, look at how look, look at Emporium. Right ah yes, I can go and move really? in a in a normal fashion and not have to to dodge yeah the disney so cool. it's called the disneyland dodge katie i'm not yeah, sure if you're aware so did you notice the alabrije uh hope i said that right um he's not he's on a platform now oh he's yeah look at that really carried by people oh that's interesting i thought that was really cool as we were coming out i had seen that online a couple of people talking about it and, and that's the first uh, time we've seen it in person how cool yeah yeah i think that it's better anyway so. oh yeah it's probably a lot better for those performers yeah i don't I mean, know how they do it all in this I, that's okay. what I'm saying. So luckily it happened before summer for them. Yeah, my hat's off to the performers. And ears off. Yeah, so my, ear, <laughs> my ears off to the performers doing that in this heat. Indeed. Here and in Florida. Yeah. 
Well, that's going to wrap it up from this uh, very hot and uh, pretty crowded day here at Disneyland. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little different approach this time because obviously we come and we, we do our walkthrough and our update. The haunted thing, it's a little different for us, but when we heard it, we were like, oh man, we got to we got to get into this and see what's going on, especially with the season that's approaching, right? Yeah, it actually is a, a very fitting time. So again, always feel free to comment below and let us know whatever your thoughts are. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you to our Patreons. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.